What's going on YouTube? Evan here. I'm back. I'm going to be teaching you another Iration song. This is Time Bomb. That's a pretty easy one to play. There's only four chords. Um, you can play them all five string bar chords if you like, but I'll show you the six string bar chord location to uh, play them. I think it actually might be easier too for a couple of the chords. Um, so let's get to it. The four chords we need to know, I'll just tell you them right now, are B minor, C, D, and E minor 7. Okay. Um, so let me show you the first location of the first one, which is B minor. This is on the second fret here. Bar on the second fret. Again, we're not playing a low E on any of these five string bar chords. These these first four that I'll show you. All right. So bar on the second fret, and then you're doing an A minor shape here. So take an A minor, slide it up to where your third and fourth finger are on the fourth fret. Your second finger is sitting there on the third fret. First finger is bar on the second fret. Slide this whole shape up to the seventh fret and take off your pinky. E minor seven. Slide down to the fifth fret and bar the whole fifth fret, and then with your third finger, press down on the D, the G, and the B string of the seventh fret. Leave the high E to be caught by this fifth uh, fret bar. We have a D. Slide the whole shape down to the third fret, and we have a C. So those are the four chords. So let's go back up here to this E minor 7. Now right above it is the B minor, the other B minor. So you, you have the whole 7th fret barred. You're just going to take your pinky, your 3rd finger and press, put it down on the A string of the ninth fret. Your 4th finger down on the D string of the ninth fret. You have a B minor. Slide up one fret with the same shape. Take your 2nd finger and put it on the G string of the ninth fret. We have a C. Now slide this exact shape up to the 10th fret. We have a D. So B minor, C, D. All right, so let's get to how I play it. So the way I play this is um, I do a little intro part, you know, bum, 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 bling, and then I hit a little harmonic. So let me show you how to do that. Thumb, first finger, middle, and ring together. I don't even play the high E. Um, when I do it, so start here on the C, go thumb on the bass note, thumb, first finger on the uh, um, D string, and then the G and B together. Then move up to the E minor 7, then go down to the D, and then hit a harmonic. So, in real time. Sorry, I missed the harmonic there. Okay, so that's the first part. So you do that once, work on that, and to play the harmonic, you float your finger directly over the seventh fret, that metal piece, that fret, um, of the, either you can do the G, the B, and the E, or just the B and the E if you want just the higher tone. That's all three of them. This is the two of them. Okay. All right, so you do that once. Do it again, and then now we're gonna do a little run. That little that that uh, sound of time bomb. Okay. So what that is is a if you're playing on the B string of the seventh fret, play it once, then hammer on, pull off on the eighth fret of the B string, and then ninth fret of the G string down to the seventh fret. So you can either play it like that, or you can retain the D shape if you'd like, and um, and if you have the dexterity, use your pinky. Just like that, okay? All right, so I do the one with the harmonic once, then I do that one, then I do another one with the harmonic, then I do that one, then I go into the B. So um, you could either continue to play kind of that thumb first finger and then it'll, it'll kind of be a roll now since you want to go into that chuck, so. Okay, or you could just play a bass note and then down chuck. I 
seen her at a party, yeah, doing her rounds. She likes to get her started, yeah, she likes to get loud. She's popping that champagne, taking shots down. She's living for the moment, yeah. Now, B minor C. Or here. If, since you're ending on the E minor 7, it'd probably be easier just to do the other B minor, the 6th string. Okay, because you're going to have to go back to the E minor 7 for the time bomb part. So, just living for the moment. She's a time bomb. E minor 7. Time bomb. Time to take you out. Then we go down to the C. So, for the hook, it's 2 on the C, 1 on the D, 1 on the E minor 7. Again, though, we'll end the hook on the E minor 7, because at the end of the hook, it does this again. And then it goes back into the verse, right? So, uh, she's a time bomb, time to take you out. Ticking of her heart is the only sound. She's a time bomb, bound to detonate. Try to cut her wires, but you're too late. Whiskey stain on her dress now. Wearing it proud There's nothing you can tell her She's starting to shout She's popping that champagne All over the crowd She's living for the moment Then run She's a time bomb Time to take you out And then go back into it So that's the whole song um, yeah, so for the hook, so for the hook, it's two on the C, it's, it's a, it's the start on time, bomb on the E minor seven, then two on the C, one on the D, and then one on the E minor seven, again, ending the hook on the E minor seven to do the B minor and the C, and then go back into the verse, and the verse is one on the C, one on the E minor seven, and two on the D, okay, um, and then those are the alternate locations that you can add in there. Yeah, that's time bomb. Uh, if you uh, if you got something out of the video or appreciate the video, please leave a comment below. Um, subscribe to my channel. Much love. Thank you all for watching. Appreciate it.